The following Let's Play has been rated perfectly fine to watch. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game. When we last left off, things were going significantly better. Now before we uh, go into the next few levels, I would like to point out the markings on this here mountain. There's a star, a stamp, and a flag. This means that in order to access the fi uh, final world, I'm going to have to collect every star, every stamp, and every gold flag. Which I have done thus far. This is 100% let's play, hopefully, and thus far it has definitely been 100%. Now, up in this level here, somewhere along the way, I accidentally uh, got the first green star whenever I was whenever I was unlocking me's, and I have no idea which star I got or where it was, so hopefully I don't miss it uh, while we play through this level again. All right, we're using Peach. Awesome. Now this is a repeat of a level from... I don't know when it was from. Oh yeah, World 3. Again. Uh, those guys can live. I don't think there's anything back here. No, there is not. So um, let's just go ahead and do a little bit of this. I was intending to jump on that first guy. Didn't quite manage it. Oh, there's a guy back here. That took care of you. Just blow him up, and there's a coin box here, and now we head into the meat of the stage. Now, since I'm a cat, I can go ahead and uh, climb up here, but there isn't really a whole lot up here. There's, I think there's a mushroom or something in one of these blocks. Yeah, go ahead and grab that just for the sake of having it. These blocks here are for if you don't have the cat suit, you can use, just use those to get up there. Now then, also same with that block up there. Now then, let's uh, go ahead and uh, move on, and I think... Oh, mini Goombas. There's nothing much to this level at first. In fact, as far as secrets go, this game, this level doesn't have a... Uh, do as much with the... That coin block had a lot of coins in it. But as far as secrets go, this place doesn't have, like, all the secret, um... The, it doesn't have the breakable secret wall, and it doesn't have, uh... The secret paths that are, like, in the ceiling, like the last time. So, secrets probably are gonna be, uh... The, the green stars, rather, are probably going to stand out a little bit more. Oh, that's where the first star was than the first time we came to this level. So I guess uh, whenever I break broke these blocks, I just grabbed that first star out of habit. Is there anything up here? I don't think there is. Second half of the stage. Like down here in the original level, there was a sunken ship with a breakable wall. That's gone here. In fact, as far as secrets go, I think there's like one path in the ceiling and that's it. By the way, something I've been really wanting to bring up since World Mushroom, oh, more coin blocks, is the Seasons thing. Pro by now you probably noticed in the video description that I have started calling this Season 6, and in fact if you look at all my previous videos you will find that every episode I've ever done is now labeled as, as part of a season. And in fact I have seasonal playlists if you look at my playlists. Uh, the reason for that is, you know how I was kind of fed up with how I was kind of dealing with this Let's Play, and I, how I started too many Let's Plays, and was considering doing a fresh start? In case you don't, it was in a channel announcement. Oh boy, I haven't done this. I saw that coming. Why aren't those uh, coin stars hard to get? I mean, they weren't before, but now they are definitely painful. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, uh, in regards to the seasonal thing, 
I wanted to do a fresh start, possibly starting with a new episode one, or episode one rather. Giving up on uh, some of the Let's Plays that I started because, yeah, I definitely started too many Let's Plays. That pipe leads to the end, by the way. So we're just going to come up here. Well, upon thinking about it, I realized that the best solution was to, instead of starting over, especially with a new channel, I can just continue this Let's Play series, continue with You Suck. I was totally expecting you to uh, uh, get blown up there. But I'm just going to do seasons. That way, when I reach season, season 7, that'll be a fresh start for me, and I can just say, Oh, hey, that uh, stuff that I kind of messed up before, that's, that's from the previous seasons. It's not relevant now. And in case you're wondering how long it took me to uh, relabel all my Let's Plays and add the season to the description of them all, three hours. Three hours of straight work. Was it worth it? Maybe. Can we like slash that? Oh cool, we can. Of course I'm gonna to have to come through this level again. And I think this is a one up. And down there is the pipe we would have come out of if we went into that pipe earlier. But anyway, yeah. The way I, I arranged the seasons was through significant events. I should have totally seen if there was something in that Goomba there. Oh well, since I had to play through this again. But let's see here. Season 1 obviously is Season 1. Season 2 starts with Presto's Broken Dream. And I started with that season on account. That's when I upgraded my equipment from the really crappy headset and really crappy uh, capture device. Season 3 is whenever I got my second intro that some of you will probably remember. It started with uh, Spiritus. Season 4 is the Mario RPG Revolution season, on account that was like the longest successful Let's Play I ever done. And so it starts with Mario RPG Re Revolution and it ends with Mario RPG Revolution. Season 5 comes after that, and then Season 6 starts with the uh, Jester's Hunt that I was uh, kind of sitting in the middle of right now, actually. Basically, Season 6, which we're in now, is the 5th Anniversary Season. And then, after I finish this and uh, Jester's Hunt, I wasn't done with that. Oh, there was a Luigi! But basically, this season will end as soon as I finish Jester's Hunt. And then season, season 7, I guess, will be my fresh start season, or something like that. Now, there's gotta be, like, a really easy way to get all the coins down here. Oh. Oh. I needed the cannon in order to reach... Well, maybe I don't. Let me check. Well, despite the fact that I'm in a cat suit, no, I cannot duck under here in order to get that. So, yep. Gotta start this level again. Alright, and let's try this again. That's not going so well. Nope. I find it interesting that this is the only level thus far in World Flower that has a midway checkpoint. Unfortunately, it does me no good because unless I die on purpose, there's actually no way I'd actually be able to use that checkpoint. Not that I'd want to. I mean, the cannons, the only cannons in the level are at the beginning of the level. I think I got it. Now I just have to survive. Oh, wait, what? Okay, so apparently I could have just killed myself. I mean, I would have had to lose my cat suit in the process, but probably better than having to go through the first half of that level multiple times. Alright, let's go ahead and find out if there's anything in these here Goomba statues. There's a coin. You know what? I'm gonna get that extra life again. 
I feel like I deserve it. And then we finish the level. What is it with that uh, shout that who does when he gets to the top of the flagpole like that? It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like, holy cow, I'm on the top of the flagpole. Oh, I'm afraid of heights or something. You know, well, you know that would expe uh, explain his um, crappy jump height. You know, something I haven't shown much of is how random some of these uh, post-its are, like this one. I mean, yeah, there's cannons in this level, but those cannon guys aren't really here. More random than that is this one. My head is off. I don't know why that uh, alien squid thing is involved in this. Doty says, this song is so relaxing. I just closed my eyes and enjoyed. You know, up until the point where I blindsided myself into a tadpole and died. But before that, I enjoyed. You'd be surprised how many post-its in this game are nothing but the same stamp just spammed across the entire post-it. I mean, it's, it's less than random. It's just a mess. By the way, this one here, who is that? Whoever that is, that looks interesting, and especially the fact that you had to have drawn that character yourself. I hate bloopers. Yes, you do. That is definitely a nice little drawing there, though. In fact, we got more drawings. Baby Maddie. Is, is this somebody, uh... Is this another Let's Player? that I should be aware of, or something. Well, anyway, now that we finished that place, I think it is time to move on to world... How do you... How do you get to the crown level? Why do people type you? It's not you, it's oo. Okay, technically uh, it is you, but unless you're like texting, or you have to deal with the limit on characters you don't need to type ooh in fact there is a character limit uh, whenever you're making these posts but it's a hundred characters this person was nowhere near that but anyway I'm complaining about spelling instead I will respond to you and say that hey uh, this thing right here with the pictures might be a pretty good clue of how you're supposed to get to world crown Alright, now we come to this level, which is from World 4, and oh my goodness, is this going to be difficult. Who do I want to bring to this? Definitely not Toad. And Rosalina just messes me up. I think I'm going to bring Luigi. Oh yeah, this is going to be difficult. Where are the Mies? There's no Mies here. Okay, well, I'm trying my best to get the Mies to come back. I don't know why they're not there. As it turns out, they're also not there, or there, or down there. So, no idea where they went. There's definitely some on this overworld map. This one in particular is pretty interesting. That's... yeah. Alright, having just finished this level with Toad, maybe now the Mies will be unlocked? Yeah, so it's kind of like whenever I did the Castle of World 4 and I had to beat it twice to unlock the Mies. Not sure what was up with that. Anyway, since I went through it, I found out that I in fact instead want to bring Mario along. I imagine there's a star under a button. Because there's a button with Mario. Mario's letter on it. This is going to be hard, by the way. I I died twice with Toad. All right, so let's see why we need Mario. Coins. That's all I wanted Mario for was coins. Let's not do that. Next star, first star rather, is over this way. 
It's gonna be kind of fun. Oh, wait. Hey, you. Bye! No, I don't want that. I want to keep my cat suit for as long as possible. Not bunnies. Alright. Try this again. Need to land on the box. Land on the box. My gosh, that's a precarious landing. Oh, hey, you? You can, uh... Oh, you're down there. Carry on, then. Like I said the first time we played through this sort of level, the one in World 4, I really like this uh, level mechanic, but having it to change every second, that definitely uh, ramps up the difficulty. Also, I'm really thankful for the Tanuki suit right about now. Because having to jump up these while dealing with... Yeah. Alright. How do I deal with this? Da 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 da! It is so interesting having to talk in order to make that thing go up. Actually, you're just supposed to blow in it, but talking works too. Apparently, they never figured out how to differentiate between talking and blowing. I assume that would have been a little too complicated. Oh, hey, there's coins over here. I'm fine with getting more coins. No, you stay away. I think I'm going to get rid of these guys before trying to deal with anything that's down there. By the way, did you just see what's going to be fun? No, I do not want another leaf. So this is where things are going to get kind of... frantic and tricky. Well, there goes my rhythm. I had a really nice rhythm going there. And I made it. That's not like super difficult, but it is slightly painful. Actually, it's not slightly painful. It's potentially deadly. But I survived pretty easily. You guys can just come over here. I am so glad that there is a way to instantly kill those dry bones. Alright. And that's the end of the level. I missed the second star. Where's the second star? I'm about to feel really... La 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 la. I'm about to feel really stupid here, aren't I? Yeah. For some reason, I grabbed all the coins, but didn't actually, um, uh, grab the star that I got from it. Well, on the plus side, this means that at this point, I'm going to have beaten this level with every character but Luigi. Give me another leaf. Ah. On the plus side, I noticed some potentially interesting trick there. Da da da. Da 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 da. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, up. We. We. Alright, so at the risk of losing an extra life... Okay, apparently that does work! Holy cow, did I get some- Wow! So apparently if you, um... Oh wow, can I actually make it all the way to... No. So apparently if you, like, hold the run button and the jump button, as soon as the platform disappears beneath you, you go flying! 
It was totally worth missing the star and dying a couple times. Yeah! Oh. The ones where they uh, modify the stamps tend to be pretty interesting. I don't have the slightest clue what's going on here. Looking at this post-it makes me realize, is there even a stamp with Toad into t the Tanuki suit? I don't know, let me check here. Nope. In fact, Mario and Luigi are the only uh, ones that have Tanuki suit stamps, unless I am just haven't unlocked the ones for the others yet. Well, that level's done. I died a few times, but otherwise, enjoyable. As uh, I definitely like the added challenge of that changing every second. I'm sure other people hate it, but I like it. But then we come to this level. This is the other level I died at whenever I was unlocking means. Because this is another time limit level. In which case, just to be on the safe side, we are totally going with Toad. As long as I'm being on camera and all that. What am I looking for here? Alright. We need a cannon. There's also a boomerang suit. I'll just leave that there for the moment. Oh, and other suits. So what we're supposed to do here is... Kill... That guy. Which potentially has just become more difficult. Okay, there we go. Good, there's more. Oh, there's a one up there. Is it worth getting? Oh, wow. Did you see how tall that was? That is totally going into the screenshot thing. I want this. Yeah, there's definitely plenty of cannons here. Here's one of the stars, by the way. Uh. Alright. So, uh, let's see how long this takes. Apparently, I want to get closer. There he is. And that'll get rid of him. I'm not even going to worry about the rest of them. Alright. Alright, that opened the, up the exit, but first I want to kind of search around and hopefully find some clue on the whereabouts of the next green star, which I think one of them is right in here. No, that's extra time. I mean, I'll accept that. Oh, the second star is over here. No, that's the third star. Where's the second one? Um, Nut bunnies. You know what? For the sake of I don't have a whole lot of time to get through this level. Give me. I'll come back for the other one. Oh, the exit to le the level is just right through there. Well, dang, I would have had enough time to kind of hunt around. Oh, I just realized I was not playing with me's. So yeah, apparently on these future levels, I'm going to have to replay them if I want to get the unlo uh, me's unlocked. Well, it's a good thing I'm going to have to replay this one anyway. Alright, I just realized where the last star might be. And unfortunately, I think I'm just going to want to restart this level in order to get it. Because I need to be able to shoot fireballs. Actually, I kind of wonder. Well, first off, those were torches there. I thought they were just like random pillars, like the kind that uh, boats dock onto whenever they're tied onto the dock. But no, those are torches. I'm really curious if, uh, you, if blowing those up actually counts as lighting them up. But I'm going to assume maybe not. In any case, at least now I know what I want to do here. Well, actually... As long as I lost my fire flower, I might as well find out if I can light those with the cannon. 
Will you die? Nope. Alright, try this again. And that is how we get that star. Now, if you excuse me, I need to finish this level again. I'm assuming I need to kill all the Hammer Brothers in order to succeed at finishing this level. Of course, I realize even though I'm now playing with the Miis, that doesn't mean I was playing with them on camera. Because after all, I didn't want to force you guys to watch me through go through that whole place all over again. So, um, we kind of missed out on a little bit of me action there. Oh well. Wow, this looks interesting. It's the return of Kokiri Kid. Apparently, that's a... Kokiri Kid's avatar or something. I'm going to assume Kokiri Kid draws that picture every time he or she makes a post. The gold statue bell works wonders on this stage. Okay. I guess I gotta try it. At the very least, this way we can say, Hey, let's go ahead and play with the Miis on camera. You know... As, as I play through these last worlds, I find that there's a lot of ways that I'm doing things the hard way. Like, pressing the buttons with using the uh, touchpad instead of trying to walk on them all. Or, I don't know, not using the gold cat suit. That does work wonders. Alright, come over here to get some extra time. By the way, this is the last level we're playing for this episode, so if you really don't want to watch me play through this level again, feel free to stop watching this. Oops. Next time, we are going to go to the last two worlds of the area, but first I'm probably going to have to unlock them. Or unlock the Miis, rather, again. Boy, that is useful. In fact, what am I even... here? I'll just come over here. Now that was satisfying. I wonder how many of those Goombas was in that tower. I'm totally going to have to count. Uh, I probably should have come in here with a different character so I don't have to play in as a different character later. Alright, and then we're going to check how many deaths I'm at, and we're going to end this episode. I was at 158, now I'm at 163, so I died five times and exited a level a few times also. And now you know. Although it's worth noting that despite dying five times, I have even more lives than I had before. Boom, boom, boom. 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 Boom, boom